Hi, I'm Rachel Cassidy and I'm the scientific lead for the Soil Nutrient Health Scheme at AFPE. The Soil Nutrient Health Scheme is the largest soil sampling and analysis programme ever undertaken. Between 2022 and 26, we aim to sample every field on every farm in Northern Ireland and in doing so provide all farmers with a baseline soil nutrient status for their farms and the information they need to make the best use of the most valuable resource on their farm going forward. Even by just correcting the pH of soils on your farm following the recommendations you get in the Soil Nutrient Health Scheme, you can help make a major difference to your grass yields and this in turn will help improve farm profitability. Within four to six weeks of sampling, farmers will receive the results in the post or by email from NRM. These will contain a table listing the concentrations of phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulphate and the soil pH of the field. In addition, loss and ignition will give an estimate of soil organic matter content. Shortly afterwards, AFBE will upload the results to an online server where farmers can access and view the results and maps of their farm. Uh, these visually allow you to look at the status of different fields in terms of nutrient, but also will contain the runoff risk maps which identify the hot spots on your farm. In addition to the tabular results in the post, farmers can access the results online through the Government Gateway account. This will provide access to maps showing the whole field area of the farm. It will give colour coding of each field, identifying whether it's above, below or at optimum for different nutrients. We also bring in the full runoff risk maps for the farm and allow farmers to overlay them and see those hot spots on farm. Knowing the soil nutrient status of your fields will allow you to make best use of the slurries and manures produced on your farm before you move to spend money on chemical fertiliser. This should provide a cost saving to the farm in the long term. All you have to do is register. You can register yourself by going in through the government gateway. You can get an agent to apply for you or you can go into your local DARA office where they'll be able to help and assist you to get online and register. Once you've done that, uh, RPS will be in contact about sampling. They'll take the samples and manage the whole process and all you'll have to do is wait for the results. After registration, which normally takes place between the end of June and August, farmers will then be contacted by RPS Group to schedule sampling. This normally takes place between November and March, but if farmers have any specific requirements, they can get in contact and RPS will take these into consideration. The results of the Soil Nutrient Health Scheme are for you as a farmer. They're to help you to make good management decisions going forward for the most important resource you have on your farm. Currently in Northern Ireland, only around 10% of farms regularly soil test and we need to improve this going forward in an uncertain economic and climatic future. It'll help farms build resilience. The registration for the Soil Nutrient Health Scheme is through the Farmers Government Gateway account. Access through the DERA online services page and click on the login to DERA's online services via the green box located at the bottom of the page. See the link below. Please note the recommended browsers are Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Firefox. Next, select the Government Gateway option and log in using your Government Gateway user ID, number and password. If you don't remember your login details or you need to apply for Government Gateway ID, you will need to follow the link below or you can contact your local DERA direct office and request digital assistance. Once you have logged in, you will be navigated to the DERA online services page, which feature two blue columns of services provided. If you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you will find Soil Nutrient Health Scheme listed. Once you click through, you will be presented with three options. Register for the scheme, results and map viewer. You will go to register for the scheme and on the next page you will see a map and list of fields associated with your single farm payment. For each field you must select the current crop code and the anticipated next crop code from the drop down menu options. Completing the exercise for all fields. The next crop code will automatically fill using the current crop code unless you override it with a manually updated code. Again, this is selected from the drop-down menu. 
If you wish to locate your field, click the view button and the map above will enable you to see the location of the field. The view function highlights the claimed fields in the zone being registered. You can find a specific field using the search function found at the top left of the map. To add a field, you have two options. Click on the orange plus sign at the bottom of the map and select the field you wish to add. Or you can scroll down to the bottom of the list and use the enter field ID located at the bottom left hand corner and then click the green add field box. All fields entered must be eligible under single farm payment rules or the fields greater than 0.1 hectare in area. To remove a field, click on the remove box and select yes. Once you have completed your list of fields, press continue, which will link to a summary page. At this point, you can obtain a copy for your records by right clicking on the screen and selecting save as and file type is web page complete. Your progress will automatically save. Then scroll down and select the farm type from the drop down menu. If your farm type is not featured, please enter a description in the additional comments box. Finally, complete the tick boxes at the bottom of the page, acknowledging that you've read the statement and you will receive a confirmation email to say that your registration has been successful. Once your farm has been sampled, you will receive your soil analysis reports and runoff risk maps within four to six weeks. And you will be emailed a copy first and sent a hard copy in the post. You can also print off a copy from your government gateway account. To get the most out of the reports, farmers are strongly advised to complete training element of the scheme. The training is bespoke, provided through CAFRI and is available once you have received your reports. It cannot be overemphasized that the training feature of the scheme is a key element to derive the maximum benefit from overall participation. If you have any queries about the Soil Nutrient Health Scheme, you can contact our helpline by emailing snhs at afbni.gov.uk or telephone our help desk on 02890 255 212 and someone will be happy to help with your query. We look forward to your participation in this valuable scheme for the unique and unprecedented opportunity it presents for every farmer in Northern Ireland.